Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Sephora Advent Calendar. If you do want to see what's inside, then please keep watching. Here's what the Advent Calendar box looks like. It is ginormous. I didn't expect it to be this big. It just came in the mail. Here's what the front of the box looks like. And when you turn it over on the back, it tells you the list of products that are included. This Advent Calendar retails for $45 at Sephora. It's supposed to be a $70 value. So we'll see about that. I do want to read a little description about what it does say online. It says a countdown to the holidays with 24 special gifts in a best-selling limited edition advent calendar. Each day uncover a Sephora collection, beauty, or skincare treat to spark your excitement for the holiday season. Full-size, mini, and exclusive gifts await you behind each door. So let's go ahead and open this up. I finally got it open, so I just ripped it from the bottom. This is a sleeve. Here's what the actual advent calendar looks like. It looks the same thing on the back. That was just a sleeve. And we're gonna open this up. Wow. Here's what it looks like. Can you guys even see it? This is a huge box. The packaging, I didn't expect it to be this big. It was on. You guys can see the picture of the little leopard or jaguar adorable so it goes on with their theme I've never done an advent calendar unboxing on my channel before so this is a first for me hopefully we get some good products we're gonna start with day one it's this cute little leopard here We get a mini nail polish. The shade name is called It Girl. Let's watch this. So the cap comes out like that. And here's a little nail polish. Let's see what it looks like on our nails. We'll do one coat. On my index finger, I only applied one coat. And then on my middle finger, I applied two coats. Moving on to day number two. Day number two is here. It's this little mini one here at the top. See what this is? Uh, what? A hair clip? This you can get at the 99 cent store. <laughs> so, Laura, what is this? I am so shocked. Um, this feels very cheap. Does the Sephora collection brand have hair clips? Let's move on to day three. Day three is right here. Hopefully day three is much better. Oh, okay, let's see. This is a brightening skin exfoliating scrub. Let's actually try this. Here's what that looks like. It's a brightening scrub. I'm gonna wait for the nail polish to dry and then we'll test out the brightening scrub. Let's move on to day number four. A mini eyeshadow. It's from the Sephora collection brand. Let's swatch this. That's what that shade looks like. This shade is called Girl Night Out. It's a shimmer. Let's apply this to the eyes. Taking a fluffy crease brush, we're gonna dip into this eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. Ooh, it's pretty pigmented. I have no makeup on. Just trying this on my bare skin. I know that's not what we're supposed to do. Definitely wear an eye primer or something. I just wanna see what the eyeshadow looks like. It looks really cute. The eyeshadow is actually not too bad. I like it. Let me do the same thing for the other eye, just in case we get another makeup product. There is a little bit of fallout. Here we have the shimmer applied on the eyes. Not too bad. This is a bit of a scavenger hunt. Here's day number five. Oh, what is this? A fizzling star. Here's what this bath bomb looks like. Again, why did Sephora include this? Do they have a bath bomb collection? It smells really good. It smells like you walked into Hollister or Abercrombie & Fitch. It smells nice. I will keep you guys updated in the description box down below. Moving on to day number six. What is 
this. Oh, okay. This is a Sephora Collection Cucumber Eye Mask. I've actually tried this in the past. It's okay. Let's try it on. I felt like the advent calendar was taking up too much space on my desk. Open up the Cucumber Eye Mask. It says sleeve on for 15 minutes. Boost your eyes in 15 minutes. We have one pair of the eye patches in here. Definitely smells like cucumber. Does have a little bit of juice inside. Here's what the little eye patch looks like. My skin is clean. I forgot to clean up the fallout underneath my eyes from the eyeshadow. That's fine. I'll wash my face later on. Here's what the cucumber eye mask look like. I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. While the eye patches are doing its thing, we're gonna move on to day seven. Day seven is right here on the bottom. Ooh. It's a Sephora Collection eye crayon. Here's what that looks like. Let's swatch it. Wow, super pigmented. The shade name is 09 Intense Black. I wanna draw a little bit of a line. We're not gonna do a wing line or anything. The pencil is super pigmented. I don't have to use a lot of pressure. Here's what the crayon pencil looks like. I really like how pigmented it was. There's nothing on this side. This eye pops a little bit more. It's really nice. I'm gonna even everything out. This eye pencil would be great to do a wing liner if you want a tight line. If you just want to use this in your waterline, I think it's a great pencil. Let's move on to day number eight, which is here. Here we have the Sephora Collection All Day Hydrator. I think it's a moisturizer and it has a little bit of a glow. It does have a fresh scent to it. it. Smells good. That's a natural hyaluronic acid from wheat, known to hydrate skin. Every day, AM and PM can also be used as a makeup primer. It doesn't absorb as quickly as it did on the back of my hand. Maybe because I put too much. My skin doesn't feel hydrated. It just looks a little bit shiny. Moving on to day number nine, which is on this side. another nail polish. This shade is called Enchanted World. Same thing, I'm gonna do one coat on one of the nails and then I'll apply two coats on the other. On my ring finger, I have one coat and then on my pinky finger, I apply two coats. Again, the nail polish shade is called Enchanted World. The nail polish shades are actually really cute. Let's see what day number 10 looks like. Why is my day number 10 empty? Um, what was supposed to be in day number 10? Because it's empty. Did I just get scammed by Sephora? Because there's literally nothing in there. It didn't fall down to the next day, day number 7. Anyways, let's move on to day number 11, which is right next to number 10. Which clearly, there's nothing in day number 10. So hopefully day number 11, we'll have something. There is something in day number 11. They just didn't include anything in day number 10. What is this? A mirror? It says wild wishes on the back. Sephora, what is going on with you? Why is there a little pocket mirror? I'm confused. And that's our timer to remove the eye patches. I'm gonna leave it on until we finish the video. But I'm still shocked about day number 10. I'm so glad that I did this on camera because nobody would believe me that 
Sephora scam me. Imagine if you did get this and on day 10, you got nothing inside. Now I wanna know what was supposed to be in day number 10. Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna move on to day number 12. That's up here. Okay, what is this? So this is a nose strip. Here's what the packaging of the nose strip looks like. And then here's the back with a little bit of instructions. I forgot to show you what the back of the eye mask looks like, but here's the back. This is supposed to be a charcoal nose strip. We only got one. Let's see if this is any good. I'm just gonna open it up. Here's the nose strip. It says, remove makeup, cleanse the nose, remove the transparent protective film, apply the strip onto slightly damp nose with the shiny side against the skin. Leave on for 10 minutes, peel the strip off. Let's go ahead and dampen our nose. I'll be right back. See if this nose strip works. The instructions say to put the shiny side onto the nose. It says to leave on for 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's open day number 13. another bath bomb. Here's what the bath bomb looks like. It smells very fresh, very clean, like linen. It's a good scent. Let's open up day number 14. Ooh, what is this? The Sephora Collection Micellar Water. Here's what the micellar water looks like. We're definitely gonna be trying the micellar water. We're gonna remove the eyeshadow look that we have on. I don't know why I'm smelling it. I just thought it would have a scent. It does say use a cotton pad to remove makeup. No need to rinse. Day number 15 is on this side. What is this? It's a creamy body wash. Here's what that looks like. You get a little sample size. It smells really good. Smells like the Bath and Body Works candle in flannel. Smells really good. Let's see what number 16 looks like. Looks like we have a lip mask. Here's what the packaging of the lip mask looks like, and here's what the back looks like. I have tried on their lip mask before. It was okay, like I said. It does say Shea has incredible nourishing powers. Make it ideal for dry lip care. It tells you unfold the mask, remove the protective film from one side of the mask, apply the mask to lips, then peel off the second protective film. Adjust the mask position if necessary, and it says leave on for 15 minutes. There's only one mask, and it says use two times a week. How are you supposed to use this twice a week? when you only get one mask. Little bit of juice coming out again. Here's what the inside looks like. Yeah, we only have one lip mask. Here's what the actual lip mask looks like. It's very thin. At least I can finish unboxing the advent calendar with you guys. I'm gonna rub the rest of the shea butter all over my arms, cause why let it go to waste? Let's leave on for 15 minutes, so we're gonna be setting a timer. Actually, we're doing another timer. We're doing the nose timer, which is almost done. I can't talk with the lip mask on, it's falling down. I removed the paper cucumber eye mask cause it was drying down and I didn't want it anymore. The lip mask does keep falling, but it does feel very comfortable on my lips. The next day is number 17. And we have a lipstick. Here we have the Sephora Collection Lip Stories lipstick. This is in the shade Spring Break. This is a cream formula. Super pigmented. Here's what the lipstick shade in Spring Break looks like. I really do like this shade. It does smell like vanilla. Moving on to number 18, which is on this side. Sephora, what is going on? Why do we have a hair clip and a little hair tie? Why are these products included in an advent calendar that costs $45? These cost pennies to make and you're making so much of them. 
it's not worth it for a consumer, I'm actually very disappointed. The next day is number 19. Looks like we have another body wash. The body wash scent is called Cotton Flower. It's this baby pink shade. Let's smell it. It smells very good. It does have a floral scent. Moving on to day 20. Another lip. This is called the Coconut Lip Balm. I'll swatch it here so you guys can see. I'm gonna remove the lipstick and we're gonna apply the lip balm. The lip balm does smell like coconut. It's a bit waxy. I don't like how the lip balm feels on the lips. Moving on to day number 21, which is up here. A nail file. Here's what it looks like. It says Sephora and then on the back it has this tropical theme to it. I don't need a nail file Sephora. I can get this at the 99 cent store. Same thing with these products. Moving on to day number 22. Another nose mask. Here's what the nose mask looks like. This is supposed to be a pineapple nose mask. It's supposed to be pore perfecting. Let's actually remove this mask. I don't think it worked. I don't see a lot of gunk in there. My nose does feel soft. Let's go ahead and apply the nose mask. With this nose mask, you don't have to dampen your nose. You can just apply it directly. It does say unfold the mask and remove the protective film from one side of the mask. Apply the mask to clean dry skin, then peel off the second protective film. Adjust the mask position if necessary. Leave on for 15 minutes, then gently remove the mask. No need to rinse. Let's open up this. Ooh, that was a lot of juice. Here's what the inside looks like. Let's get this nose mask. Here's what the nose mask looks like. Let's apply it on our clean, dry skin. It smells like pineapple. It smells really good. I'm gonna let this nose mask sit until we're done unboxing everything. Let's see what day 23 looks like. Another headband. Sephora, I don't need two of these in an advent calendar. Last day is day number 24. They always add this to every one of their Sephora favorites kit. I already have like six of these in my collection. Here we have a full size of the Always Red Cream Lip Stain. I already have this, so I'm not gonna open this. I will be gifting this to somebody this year. This is the one I already have in my collection, and this is the one that was included with the kit. As you guys can see, it's the same size. It's a full size liquid lip. I'm gonna show you guys what the shade looks like. Again, this is Always Red. Now I'll show you guys what this looks like applied on the lips. It's very pigmented, but I just wish that they would have added a different shade. Here's what the shade in 01 Always Red looks like. It's a pretty shade. I don't always reach for red shades. I'm gonna remove the red shade. It's clashing with my nose mask. That is everything in this advent calendar. There's no more days. Wait a second. This is what fell out. This is called the Instant Nail Polish Remover Wipe. You get two little pieces. That's good. Let's actually try this. The nail polishes have dried down. I actually like these nail polishes. They're really nice. I like the colors. So let's use this makeup remover wipe to see if it removes the nail polishes. I definitely prefer two coats versus one coat. So my index finger has one coat and then my middle finger has two coats. Same thing, my ring finger has one coat and then my pinky finger has two coats. So two coats of the nail polish, I think you'll be great. Let's go ahead and try out the nail polish wipes. It comes with one little wipe and wow, it smells really strong. It smells like a nail polish wipe. Let's see if it's good at removing nail polish. Oh, okay. That came out really nicely. The nail polish wipe did a pretty good job removing the nail polish from my nails.
It's been a little over 15 minutes. I'm gonna remove the nose mask. I don't like these paper masks. If you leave them on for more than the allotted time, then they just dry down. Let's feel my nose. Does it look smoother to you guys? I honestly don't notice a difference. I do want to test out this micellar water, so we're gonna remove the eye makeup look that we have on. We just poured some on the cotton rounds. We're gonna see how this removes the eye makeup. That took it off really nicely. I would say no need of rinsing. It doesn't hurt my eyes, it's not burning. Very gentle. Here's my eye makeup on the cotton rounds. I really do like this micellar water. I will continue to use it. The last thing I wanted to try is a brightening skin exfoliating scrub. It does say massage over damp skin, avoiding the eye area and rinse well. So let me dampen my skin and I'll be right back. My face is dripping wet. Let's apply the face scrub. Here's what it looks like. It does smell very earthy. It does have those exfoliating beads. Massage it on my skin. You guys know, with my one hand, it feels nice on the skin. I like it. Taking a little bit more from the back of my hand. It doesn't say for how long to keep it on for. I'm gonna rinse it off and I'll be right back. I've rinsed off the exfoliating mask. Here's what my skin looks like. My skin doesn't look instantly brighter, it feels a little softer. Everything that was included in the advent calendar is honestly, it's garbage. The charcoal nose mask did not work for me. I didn't see any results with this pineapple smoothing, pore perfecting nose mask either. The cucumber eye mask I did like, but I didn't like the paper material. I expected like a gel-like material. I don't like their paper masks. They just dry down and I don't like peeling them out if you leave them for more than 15 minutes. The Shea lip mask I really did like, but I just couldn't talk to you guys while I had the lip mask on. I did really like how soft my lips did feel. The instant nail polish removing wipe, it did its job. It removed the nail polishes. The two little nail polishes included, I really did like the colors. The coconut lip balm felt a little bit waxy on my lips, but I did really like the coconut scent. I was super surprised that I did like the shade in spring break. This is number 36. Not sure what Sephora was thinking by adding these little trinkets in this advent calendar. These are worth less than 99 cents. The pocket mirror, I don't think this was necessary. Again, same thing with those other little items. The eyeshadow shimmer, I did really like. It did stay on my lids for a really long time, so I will continue to use this. I really like the eye pencil crayon. It was super pigmented, super black. The moisturizer did feel nice on the skin, but it did not absorb quickly. And of course, Sephora always has to add their 01 Always Red lip shade. It's always in every set that I purchase from them. I definitely think they should have chosen a different shade. I will keep you guys updated in the description box how the body washes work. I'll also keep you guys updated on the bath bombs. I would have preferred Sephora include maybe a Sephora mascara, a Sephora blush, a Sephora highlighter, something like that. My final thoughts on the Sephora collection advent calendar is that I don't think it's worth the $45. Definitely spend your money on something that you actually want at Sephora instead of these little deluxe sized products that aren't even worth it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe I will see you guys in my next video